Hey, welcome back to the second part of the second episode of How I Met My Beer. In this, we will take a look at the taste and flavor profile of five of the select beers at Windmills Craft Works along with Ajay, Rahul and Jay. Please do not forget to share, like, comment and subscribe. So this is the German IPA. This is the German IPA. Oh. Some the I guess you're getting the fruitiness. Yeah, correct. So the so fruitiness is from uh, the hull melon and mandarin of Bavaria hops. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is an IPA. But till you actually take that first gulp, it doesn't. First of all, it doesn't look like a. It's anyway. a little cloudy. It's not, yeah, it's, it's a little cloudy. cloudy. It's not darker. Right. So unless you make a German Kolsch or an Alt beer, the German beers are not this color. Oktoberfest, they are all like light lager color, right? Uh, unless it's a Dunkel. Yeah, a Dunkel or a Oktoberfest or a Kolsch Dunkel. or a Schwarz beer. Uh. Everything is this color. So the IPA we thought we'll just use base Pilsner malt mm. and uh, use German hops, and that's. But from that visual, yeah, it's quite a surprise actually. Yeah. Because if somebody had kept. This in front of me and told select without tasting. I would have only taken this. I wouldn't have taken that. Right, yeah, because it's cloudy. It's not only cloudy. That color doesn't associate with. Again, it's the same. It's German doesn't associate with IPA. This color doesn't get. Right. But it's incredibly hoppy. It's nice. It has a nice uh, fruity and a bit of a. Tartness. There is a small Sour lemon man. tartness. Sort that comes. That comes from the tangerine from Mandarina Bavaria, place. right? Okay. Quite interesting. Yeah. Quite interesting. Okay, so that's yeah. the IPA. Yes. Now I think uh, you want to try the Hafe Sure. Yeah. This is something I have regularly actually. Yeah, it's fresh and clean as ever. <coughs> Again, as uh, get some fruitiness yeah, and some cloviness yeah, at the end. Bit of that clove aftertaste. Yeah, the thing that comes through. But otherwise, nice and light. What about that yeah. banana? That top typically very, on the first. Uh, yeah. It's mild, right? Very light, yeah. very yeah. mild. Yeah. Sometimes you get banana, sometimes you get a little bubble gum. Huh. Uh, so it, it borders on that estuary, fruity flavor. Correct. Flavors, yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. Sweetness. So even in Hefeweizens, for example, if you go to Germany and you have Polliner or Schneiderweiss, Polliner is very clean, more banana ish. If you have a Schneiderweiss, very malty yeah. and it's almost like caramelly Hefeweizen. And there's another beer called Undex. If you have Undex, it's all clove. Okay. So, so even Hefeweizen, you can get different, different variations. Correct. Yeah. So that's the character of the yeast, right. but most of the other one is bizarre. hops, yeah. hops and malt. Okay. So it's a, actually it's a good bouquet of flavors here. This is all hops. Correct. This is all malt. Oh. Oktoberfest. This is all yeast. Right. 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 So right. it's a good mix of everything. So you know what each each component yeast is doing. The, yeah, 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 yeah. So which one would you? Do? I'm just a beer drinker, not a critic. So, <laughs> so you can try the Oktoberfest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm really like the way you do. No, I think it's okay. Yeah. But it also, it's a uh, little bit bready, mm. right? It's uh, bready and you should get some dark roasted flavors also from it. Mm. It's quite hoppy. I saw the IBU, it's very close to IPA. 28. Mm -hmm. The German IPA was 38. Yeah. October 1st is 32. Right. So 32 is fine. Yeah. Uh, so but this, this typically like. Lag is 18. Yeah. 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 I could have few. Great. The porter. So the porter is all about coffee, chocolate, 
रोस्टेड मॉल्स एग्जैक्टली दैट इज लाइक टॉफी चॉकलेट पॉइंट कैरमल एंड दैट्स ऑल कम्स इन दर्स सो यू कैन टेक बार्ली एंड द होल प्रोसेस ऑफ मॉल्टिंग यू यू जर्मिनेट इट एंड वंस यू स्टार्ट जर्मिनेटिंग यू टेक इट आउट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड यू रोस्ट इट इन अ किल सो यूजली द पिल्सन मॉल्ट इज लेस मॉडिफाइड लॉक्स ऑफ शुगर्स इन इट एंड देन यू गेट स्लाइटली पेल मॉल्ट देन यू गेट कैरमल मॉल्ट एंड देन यू गेट चॉकलेट मॉल्ट एंड रोस्टेड मॉल्ट So this is all about roasted malt, where the sugar is less, but the roasted flavors are more. And it's a misnomer that a dark beer is heavier mm. and more calories. No, that beer has more calories in this, because the sugars are there in this. The sugars have already been roasted and burnt away. Okay. Right. It's probably that mouth feel is what people think it's. Yeah. Heavier. So color has nothing to do with the heaviness yeah. or the alcohol content. In fact, less I saw alcohol than that one. so it's all about flavor so if you like dark chocolate and you like black coffee Correct. you like this okay. it's right. more for me it's more of a sweetish side a stout is a typically a slightly sweet right. after taste right. personally i don't like yeah. so but this goes really well with a chocolate dessert okay. like you have a chocolate brownie or a chocolate cake it, both of them uh, accentuate yeah 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 What about uh, an IPA? What is a good Indian food which will go with it? All the curries go really well. Spice. Yeah. You need the spice to. No, the, so it's the the bolder flavors will go very well with the IPA. Okay. But if you have a golden ale or a hefeweizen with the with curries and with a lot of onion and garlic, then that will overshadow everything. But the IPA will stand up, stand its ground. Correct. And say, taste me also, and eat that also, and I'll I'll still win. so they both uh, complement each other so the lighter beers with seafood and fish and lighter flavors the roasted beer this uh, beer with like roasted malt stouts and porters with your chocolates and desserts ipas with bold flavored food oh. with meat and your tikkas and tandoori chicken i have an ipa so how do you educate this to a normal beer drinker so it's uh, when we started this brewery in 2011 2012 uh a lot of people in in the brewing consultant world told us you keep your american beers to yourself all the indians will drink is a light lager or a hefeweizen that's it others please you know don't waste our time and i told them that you know we will change a customer at a time right as in one year people will not come here and say i want a beer they'll say i want to have a hefeweizen or i want a golden ale or i want a ipa they won't say i want a beer correct right and it happened so it's a one customer at a time and the staff has to be educated and you have to constantly train them and i was there 3 years i was here talking to every customer every table That's probably weird but yeah. <laughs> yeah and every table and I was like finding out you know there were there was a guy who came in once uh, in the first few days and he had a amber ale and he said hey what is this beer it's spoiled so my brewer was there and it was a perfect beer so we told them and it's okay for you to not like it but it's not okay for you to say it's bad right you can say i don't like it i don't have it uh and so ed was a brewer that time and he educated that customer and today he is a most loyal customer so once they understand that you know hey this is what i need to look out for hmm. whether it is a malt or it is different flavors and beer does not mean it's just a spritzy light drink on a summer afternoon but you can have bolder flavors that then then the journey begins and then you start discovering hops so oh, i have now had citrus now i have passion fruit now i have guava i have coconut now berries and i have pine so once that journey starts then then you're then done yeah, then you're done correct and, um. so one thing uh, so i'll i'll say that before that i think i should uh, tell i have been coming here from 2013 I was in Singapore at that time. I, whenever I come to Bangalore, I my house is nearby, so I used to come. There is one thing which actually uh, made me very impressed about them. The people here, they know what they are talking. So I come because I come from Singapore. I used to make beer. I knew beer. So if I go to some of the breweries even today, and I order IPA, the first thing the guy will say, "Sir, it's bitter." Bitter. <laughs> I don't want. I knew my beer. That's why I'm. But here, when I walked in, they were talking about 
they had they knew mm. which is very surprising because in an industry where people move very fast training them is very difficult and i am sure you have managed to no our core team has been here from the beginning 8 years okay. they haven't left us so it helps to build that continuity and they believe in the product and the company definitely helps yeah. it's hard work though i know <laughs> so our philosophy has always been that uh, treat the business like you were a customer if i was a customer and i walked in what should i expect and if it works for me it works for you correct that's it i leave everything else aside if you come from hotel management school and i taught you to do this leave it aside matter. doesn't matter treat yourself like the customer so when i come in i just make changes based on my experience as a customer i don't worry about uh, that this is what they, this is how it should be done no so and everybody i think thinks like that you know let's let's put ourselves in the customer shoes and see what the experience is so a lot of one film yeah as a golden ale uh that also has the same hops as the ipa okay, but okay. it's a lighter version okay so it's not dry hopped probably no it's not dry hopped so but lesser malt and uh, less quantity of hops can drink whole day yeah so there that's the whole point yeah, yeah. yeah. sessionable beers yeah, that again beer, so in a pub is very different from what you put in a bottle in a pub you want people to enjoy a few pints without getting buzzed correct right but when you buy beer you want a little bit of you want value for money right yeah. i'll have one can and i'm happy yeah. but in, in a pub people want it's more of a conversation starter we call it beer is a social lubricant correct right you sit and you drink your beers and conversations it's flow how to sit and talk about beer itself right so right. that's what i think right. right. and this whole like these both these decks here many companies have been founded here wow. so people we i and i'm i'm part of a lot of these conversations and you were bouncing ideas you know hey you know we should do this yeah you should do this. and i know they have five beers but some people have gone and done it and the successful companies got bought out and the great great stuff so i know so what are the most popular ones the beers so half a version 60% of our sales is the half a version sadly so i i wouldn't care much for that beer i don't even drink it i don't even yeah i don't drink it but 60% is half a version the minute you told me you will take care of half a version i'm like okay i don't want to drink it